think about the walk, first of all, uh, again, what we're looking to see in, in order to be able to give some high scores for an extended walk. Um, so let's start over this way and work our way around a few points. Uh, just come out with one criteria. Yeah. Swinging back. Next one. four beat. Lengthening of the frame. Okay. Over track. Over track. Freedom of the shoulder. Okay. Relaxation. Reaching to the contact. What did you say? Relaxation? Yeah. Okay. Number one must be about regularity. Uh, that's the first and most important criteria in every exercise. <clears throat> um, especially in the walk, I think it's important that we recognise when the horse is clearly in four beats and uh, also be able to recognise when it's heading towards or actually arrives at the point where it's uh, pacing or moving in lateral pairs in a two-beat rhythm. Um, we do see it, unfortunately, from time to time. Uh, the whole point of the extended walk for me is, again, that it demonstrates, really, what's going on in the horse's training. The horse that's working with true impulsion uh, you know, in the, in the pace before, in the trot before, whatever, um, should uh, be able to come into a relaxed walk that still has energy. And if the horse is truly supple in its uh, whole body, uh, there should be no reason for it to be anything but a clear four beat rhythm. Um, and three, the, the walk demonstrates really what's going on in the rest of the horse's training. So if you see a horse that comes from full impulsion, say it's, uh, it doesn't matter, it's coming say from extended trot, for instance, it should still be able to come down to walk, and then still go to an extended walk without its eyes bulging on stalks. Um, and being locked in the back, uh, we're looking to see that that horse is relaxed, but still is forward going, forward thinking. Um, shows the four beat rhythm, stays into a contact point, an elastic contact point, as it lengthens its frame and gains ground forward, showing um, its maximum overtrack. Uh, there's quite often a discussion about, well, how much overtrack should it show? Um, and, you know, horses are all different shapes and sizes, and some have, um, from nature, a bit more um, mm -hmm. overtrack than, than others. Um, but I think what's mm -hmm. mostly important, it's not just at all about the overtrack, it's about uh, whether the horse is able to show a difference, you know, within the collective and extended walk. Um.